All right, lesson three, pre-planning a unit railway move. Um, three, one, lesson overview, introduction to the unit movement. The officer will plan the loading procedure, supervise loading operations, share appropriate securing methods for use. He must use... <laughs> You must also know the type of equipment required for the conducting railway loadout, unloading operations, lessons, describe the procedure, planning of the unit railway move, the maintaining the unit movement plan, obtaining the breakdown of the unit equipment, identifying the available railway equipment, determining the railway siding capabilities, the earning, enabling learning objective, the enabling learning objective for this lesson, prepare unit railway movement, including the maintaining the unit movement plan. Home obtaining the breakdown of the unit equipment, identifying the available the railway equipment, determine the railway site and capabilities, condition, give the study and the environment of the material provided with the subcourse standard and in accordance with the subcourse material provided with the name or other re references cited. The material lessons of the was obtained with the references of Force Com Army National Guard 55 1 unit movement planning October 1993, 55 1 transportation operations data for October 1995, field manual 55 15 transportation reference data, data dated June 1986, 53 field manual 55 17 terminal operations coordinator with the handbook dated with the September 1990, field manual 55 65 strategic deployment and service transportation dated October 1995, technical manual 55 22000 112 the application of blocking bracing tie down materials of the railway transportation, the MT MCTEA pamphlet um, 5519 of the tie down handbook of the railway movement the official railway equipment registered dated in May 1992. The lesson covers the 3 2, the maintaining of the unit movement plan, 3 3, the obtaining of the breakdown of unit equipment, 3 4, identifying available railway equipment, 3 5, the um, determining railway siding capabilities, 3 6, lesson plan, 3 7, lesson practice, 3 practice exercise, 3 six, 8, lesson 3 practice exercise, answer Q and 3 feedback. Introduction. Um, three two. Maintaining the unit movement plan. Introduction. The unit movement requires um, movement plans to successfully organize, coordinate with, the execute the unit movement. Um, um, unit rail movement. The rail movement plan is the part of the unit movement plan. The movement plan is maintained with at least three spaces, places, on um, unit standing op standing operation procedures. Um, battle book unit movement. The folder and binder. The unit standard operation procedure. Units movement standard operation procedures. Most efficient means of ensuring the proper state of the readiness for the unit. The movement the standard operation procedures designed the general specific functions the unit successfully deploy the standard operation procedure outlined during, during um, daily unit operation actions that occur will automatically upon receipt the warning order for the unit movement. Unit movement plans. The unit movement plans define specifically responsibilities, functions, the details that each of the part of the unit deployment is part of the um, home station or the port of the bar, um, Port of the Market, the maintain of the movement plans for each of the unit with the mass make of the unit movement plans contained with the detailed preparation step of the form and the actual deployment. A effective unit of the movement plans requires the careful planning of the coordination support from all levels of chain of command. The u unit movement control um, must uh, move. Uh, must approve the movement and plans. Also, the um, unit movement command must approve all the movement and plans. The approval of the movement plans are scenarios for maintained in the central lo location, central unit location. The battle book. The battle book is a comprehensive plan documented with accomplishing the unit movements. The theater operation the battle book includes an index of the unit mission, the organization, staffing, action required to achieve mission ready posture. The copper. A pertinent information from the out plan and the time phase, um, time phase for, um, force deployment listed or TPDLF, um, time phase to force deployment listed, preposition war reserves or PWRS powers information. Um, battle book continued advanced work, advanced party worksheets, photographs, and maps all critical areas, but the unit will pass the as an ASC point of embarkment of the co co convoy routes, operation appendix direct of the personal telephones and numbers. Unit uh, movement command, uh, unit movement folder, fo folder consists of administrative operations sections, administrative sections contains index movement plan requirement statement and implementation orders of the key unit movement personal identification of the unit movement order, the unit movement non commissioned officer, the load team, the hearts of the cargo sensor fighting personnel alter all alert roster unit equipment shortage of the um BBC PTC materials supplies prepare um um Requisition coordination with requirements of planning, execution, and instruction unique for the unit. The operation section of the an author, Army user, user Equipment List of the Requirements of Commercial Transportation Department of Defense Form 1265 requesting convoy clearance if applicable. The Department of Form and Form 1266 requests a special handle permit if applicable. Force Com Form 285 R Railway Load Plan if applicable. Requiring you um, for units movement plans, the unit commander and immediately uh, intermediately level authority with the unit movement officer will ensure the unit movement plans meet the uh, requirements. Guidance for the developing vehicle load uh, plans, uh, testing vehicle load mo mo plans and cargo vehicles, provisions of all organized equipment supplies with requ 
um, so equipment and supply or, or provisions organizing equipment and supplies moving out of the unit vehicles identifying supplemental transportation requirements is required arrangement the supplemental transportation planning of the procuring packaging materials shipping containers planning updating testing all the aspects of the unit movement plan preparing a unit um, railway movement the efficiency effective of the railway movement to the port of the embarkment do not just happen then require pre-planning the unit movement the officer you may be responsible for pre-planning the unit railway load plan and modifying the existing railroad road plan there are three steps of the planning of the unit railway move. One, step one, obtain the breakdown of the unit equipment listed by status category. Two, make assumptions regarding available rail equipment. Three, determine the rail siding capabilities you will, you will use during the unit's rail or rail loading unit load out. And three, three, obtaining the breakdown of the unit equipment. The introduction of the first step of the planning of the unit rail movement and identifying the unit movement, the, uh, unit equipment. The authorized user equipment listing uh, maintains the listing of the unit movement data of the, during the railway pre planning fa phases. You must evaluate the Army user equipment list, ensuring the accurate, complete, li uh, accurate and complete. The deployment equipment list, the using the authorized equipment use listing reports to put TOW and MTO and the CTS and the PD PWRS unit movement personnel will develop a deployment equipment. List. This list responds to the requirements of the TPFDL uh, um, issued by the O plan. The deployment equipment list is each of the pieces of the equipment deploying with the, the unit deployment list. Uh, equipment list um, groups equipment in accordance with the size of dimension, including the weight and cubic, for example. Commercial utility cargo vehicles are TU, CCV, the trailers are M4, 16 small trucks, 3 th three quarter ton to 2 two and a half ton truck trailers, small trucks, trucks, 2 and a half ton trailers, 1 and a half ton, 5 ton trucks, um, tra tractors, semi trucks under 10, 100 winch, winch, inch to width, trailers and semi truck greater than 100 inch width, over, outsized and oversized with, uh, over the weight of the piece of the equipment, truck vehicles under the 100 inch width. Truck vehicles greater than 100 inch width. Um, the unit movement officer determines the equipment of the TAT or non TAT or the priority non TAT. 3 4 identification available to railway equipment. Um, introduction of the following determination using the deployment equipment list. You must determine how to move the point into its point of, point of embarkment. The requires you know the type of the available railway equipment. The ITO is responsible for the obtaining the railway cars. But you may require to identify the cars using the requirements for the movement to make the determination concerning the unit. You must know the size, dimension, shipping and configuration of the equipment to be moved, the size, dimension, carrying capacities of the available railway cars, determining shipping characteristics when determining the shipping shipping characteristics described above previously in technical bulletin 5546-1 the listing ship in configuration dimensions most of the type of the uh, military equipment the listing of the help will determine the best load of the railway car railway equipment and when making assumption of the available the railway equipment you must first be able to familiar with the type of the available the railway equipment the four basic type of the railway cars or general purpose um, gondola cars DODX flat cars and box cars <laughs> General purpose: the black cars, purple, popular choice with the um, car cargo shipping the basic. Um, you can load equipment to double the triple deck. The superstructure resulting in mo more economical transportation cost per mile. The flat cars can hold handle 75% of the load limits of the concentrated with the, uh, and 100% of the uniform distributed load. Flat cars will suited with the shipping prepackaged little wear weatherproof containers. The flat cars have uh, either when welded to riveted steel and frame of the flat cars are equipped with the stake pockets, fastening tie down devices. The stake pockets are welded on the side of the end of the cars to prevent loading and slippage. General purpose of the flat cars, figure one and figure three, well, figure three, one and three, three, illustrate the tie-down devices, stake pocket anchors, and the army uses the flat cars to transport the assault boats, vehicles, cranes, and the load number of the large created loads and cargo containers. The three types of the general purpose of the flat cars description in each of the 89 foot figure three, metal deck, cushion, rubber rail, chain tie-downs may have the four inch high metal sides and arms with spanners built on the ends. Maximum usable width is 100 inches up to the height of the width, um, of the arms. 68 foot, the figure three, four, the wooden decks can be used with the chain tie -down blocking, bracing, no siding, accommodated with equipment for the almost the width and multiple level 89 foot figure 35 uh, adjustable metal decks, chain tie downs, requirements, wraps, clearance, landing of the headroom to between the decks and adjustable must be considered with the review carefully. For example, the bi level clack car has roof of the second deck must have the headroom with the me measuring 94 inches to 103 inches depending on the adjustment ability of the second deck. Our general purpose of the flat cars continue you see the tie won't decide on devices. Figure um, 3-2 um, shows the stake pocket anchor. General purpose 3-3 three, 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 three shows an 89 flat foot flat car. 3-4 shows a, a 68 foot flat car with a tank number number 1 and tank number 2. And 3-5 shows a multiple level 89 foot ca car with the AB, AB and AD, BD and AD side view. Um, 
the DOD flat car, flat text car, flat cars. The figure the three um, figure three shows the U.S. government the fleet of heavy duty railway cars, transportation tank, other heavy armored vehicles. The 100 to 140 ton DOD flat car heavy duty load skirment system. If it uses the four steel flushing mounted with the channels just running with the entire length of each of the anchors, has a low binding the connection with the core one inch and a half inch L L I train vehicles are driven oiled. Roll it well, the appropriate place for the flat car secure with the LA chains commercial. How many also use the commercial flat car? Flat cars, the flat cars are available in 60 to 89 foot lengths that come with the equipped with the chains. The OTTTX cars of the figure 37, the example of the commercial flat car. The OTTTX have the middle third transportation application flat car of 1,149,000 to 1,055,000. 155,500 pounds loading comparison capacity. The OTTTX has four tie down channels. Two along the side of the saddle back with the figure eight and three eighths and to, um, two to load two high down the center of the car with the rock, okay, rock, rock, rocking ratchet winch for the three nine. Gondola cars in figure three ten are primarily used for the container express or conics. Gondola must have they have ends or ha, have ends be a, um, free of the breeze be at least at nine feet wide. The gondola car is ideal shipping conics large through shelters with one um, sixty eight foot gondola car accommodated with the ten conics. The fifty seven foot car uh, car can fit eight conics. Gondola car have high load size the end of the size of doors drop doors on the floor the end of the cars and swinging side doors all right, box cars figure three for eleven have the roof and side ends of the doors to protect you with the um, cargo from the weather. Box cars have very dimensions ranging from the interior length of the forty feet to six inches to the eighty feet and six uh, and six inches of the side door. But these cars have are at least ten feet wide. Railway coming in figure three six of these the DOD flat car. Um, this shows the. Uh, O T O O T X flat car. The three A um, figure three A shows the saddle back winch. Figure three nine shows a rocking ratchet winch. winch. Railway equipment continued. Um, three ten conjola car. Three eleven box car. All right, three four identifying available railway equipment. Continue the TOFC transport the highway trailer. The figure three twelve. These um, cars are retractable, pedable mounting. Um, the screwing trailer. Um, the TOC TOFC compliance with the flexibility of forty five foot highway trailer trailers. Fishing with the railway car loading on one or two of the trailers on an eighty nine foot railway car. Figure three thirteen shows the rail, um, trailer being lifted on the piggyback. Well hole flat car, the well hole depressing the center of the car with the flat car 314 provides additional overhead clearance for the free equipment which can be carried on standard flat car. The depression on floor accommodates the equipment not meeting overhead clearance and limitations on the standard car. 312 shows the TOFC with um, railway equipment continued, um, shows the piggyback, uh, piggyback packer, well hole flat car. Three five determining railway side capabilities. You must also determine the capabilities of railway siding being um, being used um, used in your unit during the railway laid out railway siding siding requirements. You must identify the railway siding requirements before the detailed railway planning can be done. The railway siding requirements also important unloading the train the determination of the requirements identifying the use of and the, the need for the cranes or other special equipment during the offloading of the railway cars to determine these capabilities of railway siding capacity and length the usable um, space for each side and the weight of the height size limit of the ramps, overheat restrict, overhead restriction, track bed, load limits, location, square foot of the assembly, holding areas, availability, the capacity of the cranes, expertise of the crane, operation, availability of blocking, bracing, wire, and other items, availability of size, capabilities of locomotive time, and available for loading. 3-6 Lesson Summary As almost the development of the railway movement plan successfully organized, coordinate with the executed unit movement plan, the plan is maintained with three phases, um, um, three places, unit standard opposition procedure, battle book, unit movement hand folder. The uh, the uh, Army user equipment list of facilities maintained with the list of the unit movement um, deployment. The um, report assists you with developing the deployment equipment list. The, and once you have the determined the deployment equipment list, you must identify the most efficient way to transport your equipment to make the determinations. You must know the size, dimension, shipping configuration of the equipment to be moved in the available railway cars for the four basic the railway cars, general purpose of the conjugal car, the DOD flash car, and the box car. We'll skip the uh, questions. This page is intentionally left blank. More questions. The answers. Lesson 4, Identifying Railway Car Loading Procedures.